Hi, and welcome back to your grade five English language arts lesson. Yeah, today we are going to learn all about conjunctions. Well, maybe not all about them, but at least the most commonly used ones.、Hmm. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. It's not really that hard either. The first thing we have to ask is, what is a conjunction? Well, a conjunction is a word that joins two ideas together into a single sentence. We commonly use and, but, and or.、Hmm. So you've probably been using these words already. You just didn't know that they were called conjunctions, right? I'm betting that's right. <laughs> so what do we have to do here? How do we use these words correctly? Well, I'll show you. First. What can a conjunction do? Well, a conjunction can join two subjects, two predicates, and two sentences.、Mm. So, what does that mean? Two subjects. Well, remember how we broke a sentence apart, and we said that the hedgehog is awake. Okay, so the hedgehog is the subject, and the predicate is is awake.、Mm. But what if we have Two things, right? Maybe we have a hedgehog and a bird. The hedgehog and the bird, ooh, careful, <laughs> are awake, right? Well, now we have two subjects. Okay, stay there. That's how we can, can we can join those two things with a conjunction. The hedgehog and the bird predicate are awake. Cool. But what about two predicates? Hmm. Well, what if there's two things that happen? To the subject, right? So, the hedgehog is angry. The hedgehog is angry and sleepy. Right? She ran back into her bed. So she's angry and sleepy. Oh, two things happen to a single subject. Well, what about two sentences? Hmm. Well, the hedgehog was angry and ran into her into her bed. Right? The hedgehog was angry. That's a sentence. Ran into her bed. That's a sentence, right?、Hmm. So we can put them together. Let's try this. The man and the woman run in the park. Oh, okay. Well, there are two subjects: the man and the woman. Do what? So the man and the woman, what? Run in the park. <laughs> Sonic's pretty angry here. <laughs> The man and the woman run in the park. Okay. Well, we've joined two subjects. Well, what about the other stuff? My favorite pizza has pepperoni and cheese.、Oh, come on, isn't that perfect? My favorite pizza is the subject, right?、Mm. Has what? Pepperoni and cheese. Two two things in the predicate, right? This subject. Has two things in the predicate. Well, what about the third one? The man was early, but then his car broke down. Ah,、oh, we connected two separate sentences, right? They're related. They're the same. They're they're related in the fact that they're the same type of idea, right? This and then this happened. But we can connect them with an and. The man was early. Hmm. Okay. His car broke down. Hmm. We connected them. The man was early, but his car broke down.、Oh, okay, we've joined two sentences. Cool. Was that really that hard? Not so much. Let's take a minute and look at what what and and or and but should be used in.、Mm. So, when do we use and? We use and to show both things are positive. Now, I don't mean positive like good. Okay, I mean positive as in like. There is something, and negative as there isn't something, right? I have a hedgehog and a bird. I have two things, right? I have this thing. There are these two things, right? A hedgehog and a bird. <laughs> She's back in her bag here. She's gonna be angry. I take her out. It's actually Princess Sonic. Okay, so when we use and, we show that there are two things existing.、But、what about the other ones? 
but, ah, okay, we use but to show contrast or things that are opposite, right? Like in our first example, the man was early. Good thing, right? But what happened? Something negative. His car broke down. Isn't that right? Hmm. <laughs> so we see that but shows contrast, opposites, a good and a bad, a positive and a negative. Ah, okay, okay, we get this. But what about or? Well, or shows a choice. I always remember or when mom would yell at me and say, do this or this happens, right? Some kind of consequence, something happens, right? You have a choice, do this or something bad happens. Those are your two choices. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's practice these ideas. We're just doing the three main ones, the and, the but, and the or. Let's see if you have mastered these three. <laughs> and let's test it. Take a minute, pause the video, answer these questions, and then Princess and I will check them with you. Here we go. Okay, so now we are sure that you have checked <laughs> and done your answers, so let's check them, right? Now, here we go. Number one, hawks are large, mm -hmm. eagles are bigger. So hawks are, they're large, right? But this thing is bigger, but, but, exactly. Okay, okay, I'll put you in your bag. <laughs> hawks are large, yes, but eagles are much bigger. Okay, that makes sense, right? It wouldn't make sense to have and because they're not quite the same, right? Number two, I like to play the piano, the guitar, mm, the violin. Oh, I like to play these three things. I like them, I have them, they exist. Positive, positive, positive. So it's an and, right? We can use this for two things or a list like this. Ah, see, I didn't even teach you about the list, but you got it on your own, see? Not hard. Number three, you can do your homework, mm, be grounded. Oh, sounds like mom, doesn't it, right? <laughs> That's why it's or, it's a choice. You can do this or you're in trouble. Oh, or, choices are easy to see, right? It's the little tricky when it becomes and and but, but if we remember that positive and positive, these things exist, and then a the positive and a negative, ah, well, and and but aren't so hard, right? Number four, I slept, mm, I am still tired today. That's me every single day, you can tell. <laughs> Maybe not, there's a lot of light. So, I slept, that's a good thing. I'm still tired. Oh, it's but, mm. oh, it's but, <laughs> but. <laughs> so I slept, but I'm still tired. Number five, I exercised, mm, ate right on my diet. Oh, I exercised, that's a good thing. I ate right on my diet. Ooh, that's a good thing, right? Oh, and I exercised and I ate right on my diet. Two positives, two good things. And number six, you two stop fighting, mm, I'll stop this car. Oh, that one sounds like dad, right? <laughs> I swear my mom was super nice. Okay, now, you two stop fighting, right, this is one, mm, this happens, ah, it's a choice, or, or I'm going to stop this car and make you stop fighting, right? <laughs> so, I hope that this clears up conjunctions for you, me and princess, well, princess and I, ah, it's always princess and me, I'm always last, yeah, princess and I are hoping that you enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, let me know. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, let me know too and I'll try to help you. So, hmm, conjunctions are easy, right? Yeah, conjunctions are fun and easy. Conjunctions are fun, but not confusing anymore. Ah. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.